Cal had won this nine consecutive times until Leon Marchand of Arizona State won it last year. And here they come. Look at their faces. I mean, we are serious. We are ready to go. Hugo did not follow the line. He actually went behind the timers, which you're not supposed to do. He's like, listen, I've got my own jam. I'm going to go down here yep. to lane one and enjoy myself. That's Hugo Gonzalez. Gonzalez was the champion in this event in 2020 and 2021. Won a 400 IM title in both the SEC and the Pac-12. Won it for Auburn in the SEC back in 2018. So three total championships. Hugo Gonzalez, the Olympian for Spain. Two times, both in Rio and Tokyo. So a two-time champion, but he is not the favorite. That goes to the fastest in history in this event. That man, Leon Marchand of France and Arizona State. 2021 Olympian for France. He was sixth in the 400 IM. And then at the World Championships in Budapest, swimming long course meters, had the second fastest 400 IM swim ever, trailing only Michael Phelps, just four tenths off Phelps' record. And he will be in lane number five. Marshawn won gold in both IMs in Budapest last summer. And here in the 400 yard IM, he's the fastest ever. He set that record in January, a time of 331.84. So it's Gonzalez in lane one. Kind of just grabbed a lane this morning. And Marshawn in lane five. Also keep your eye in lane four on Jason Lauser for Cal. He had the fastest qualifying time this morning, but this race figures to be about Marshawn and maybe Hugo Gonzalez. Yeah, Hugo Gonzalez this morning, you know, we talk about it often. A lot of these swimmers who have a lot of international experience, as he does, they will play around a little bit in the prelims with their race, and I think that's what happened this morning. But again, all you want to do is grab a lane. It doesn't matter what lane you are in. You just need to get into the final. Leon Marchand, we're, we're a little more than a lap in, and Marchand has a lead by a body link. Hugo Gonzalez closest to you in lane one. He would figure to be his closest competition as we move along here, just in the early stages of the 400 IM. Look at Leon go. His stroke is so gorgeous. That's what I'm talking about, about staying high on the water as he goes into the backstroke. But watch his underwaters. They are so good on every stroke that he uses them. And he doesn't just use his lower body. He uses his fingers. He uses all of his body to get that undulation. And that's why he is so good underwater. And he is swimming really fast in this meet. Who sets the NCAA record for anything in January when it's prior to your taper? But that's what Marshawn did. We haven't even gotten to the breaststroke leg, and he is a 200 breaststroker. And look at him go. I just, it's fun to watch him swim. He just kind of looks like he's warming up. There he is again with the shot at faster motion. Again, probably spitting out that water as well. Building up each stroke is my assumption just by watching his splits right here as we head into the breaststroke. This is where he is really going to take off. You know, I had visions of Leah Smith from about eight years ago, the, the great distance swimmer, but she was so far behind Katie Ledecky. She was excited after race. She said, I saw Katie's feet. Yes. These guys are seeing Leon Marchand's feet right now. He is so far in front of them. They are, and what you just saw right there was a perfect shot showing you what I talk about. You want that streamline up front, then you want to round that corner, squeeze in and get back out to your streamline with your kick. You need to bring your heels up and your feet need to be pointing out already, and then it's almost like you jump off the water. He is doing such a great job. Every single stroke he is gaining. Less than 50 yards of breaststroke to go, and then Marshawn will transition to the freestyle. Again, the all-time record held by Leon, 331.84. He set that two months ago. He's just looking so strong right now. Look at his stroke. I'm so excited to see him in the breaststroke events. Here he comes into this freestyle turn and watch, he's got such a lead, but he's got a race in his own lane lines right now. Don't worry about where anybody else is, swim your own race. That's how records are broken. And by the way, his time this year, 
is six seconds faster than the second fastest time in the country. Six seconds, and he's showing it right here. Hugo's got no chance, nor does anybody else. This is all about Leon Marchand racing the clock. And again, the all-time record, 331.84. The meet record, 334.45, set by Leon last year. All right, here we go. Look at his breathing right there. He looks great as he goes into this last turn. What I want you to pay attention to is right here. Push off on your back. Then onto your side. There we go. Oh, it was so great. Here we go. Let's see if we're going to get a record. 331.84, the time to beat the all time record held by that man, Leon Marchand. He got it. 331.57, the fastest time in history. That is awesome. Oh, my goodness. Kids, this is what I'm talking about. Swim in your own lane lines because if he would have paid attention to everybody else, we would not have that record. Here's the thing. When you are a swimmer and you stare at that scoreboard like he was, you're either really happy or really sad. I'm guessing it's going to be the first one because that was en fuego. And he won that by six seconds over Hugo Gonzalez. So impressive. Throwing pumpers, smacking the water, giving the forks up. Now, Hugo finished second to Leon at the Pac-12s last year, but won the NCAA championship. There's Hugo. He'll be building for three weeks from now in Minneapolis, and he's got a round of applause for Leon. At least I would guess that's for Leon, <laughs> as he sets an all-time record again after breaking Hugo's mark back in January. What a brilliant swim. My goodness, and again, just sitting there staring at the... Did I really just go that time? That's amazing. But you know what? What I hope he's thinking is, I can't wait to talk to Rich and Amy because look at this last wall. This is how it was done, everybody. Right there, getting his heels to his butt, pushes off, and he pushes off on his back, wasting no time. Dolphin kicking up, and then he starts swimming away. That was just amazing. And he, look at that white water behind him as we hit that wall. Fingertip touch. Well done, Leon. Just Look. worrying about his own race and very Ledecky like nobody else in the <laughs> shot as he hits the wall. It's incredible. He had a cup of coffee before everybody else finished. 331.57, you just watched the fastest man ever in the 400 yard I IM, Leon Marchand, breaks his own record that he set in January. Hugo Gonzalez, who had had the previous record that he set last March at the NCAA Championships in winning that title. He finishes in second. Kubi Kosh in third for ASU. Woof! My heart rate is up after that. I hope all of it yours is as well. So, such a good swim. Just beautiful. The Marchand, who is a 2021 Olympian for France, and he figures to be swimming for his native nation in Paris in 2024, and we're joined by Leon Marchand, you just seem so relaxed out there. How do you stay within yourself and, and swim your own race? You know, I did like maybe 100 or 4 a.m. before. So I know, I think I know how to do it. I don't have to like focus on it. Uh, that was a very good time. That's my best time. I'm very happy with that. Hey, it's anybody's best time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the fastest time in history. I know, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so we know that you swim fast, but I also want to know, do you fly your plane as fast as you swim? <laughs> I would like to, but <laughs> maybe soon. All right. Well, next next year I'm jumping on with you on the plane because, you know, I like to fly private. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> so, uh, Leon, I, I know winning the NCAA championship is important to you. Winning the Pac-12 championship is important to you. But look ahead to 2024. How much would it mean to you to stand atop the medal stand at the Olympic Games in your home country? I think this is a, a pretty big chance for me uh, to have the Olympics in Paris next year. I'm preparing every day for that, and it's going to be amazing. Uh, can, can you just say, in case they're watching, say hello to your family, and you can do so in <laughs> I think I'm sleeping right now, but hello to my family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, you, we, we'll save the French for later. Yeah. Hey, good luck. Uh, we enjoy watching you swim. Congratulations on the fastest time ever in the 400 IM. Thank you. Let's go, Devils. <laughs> Hugo Gonzalez, his big rival, appreciates the work of Leon Marchand. They will meet again in three weeks in Minneapolis, but for now, Leon stands alone. <laughs>